Now, there will be times where you are not wanting to live stream. You simply want to record, whether that be an interview, whether it be a tutorial or a video, something like this that you're creating. Let's just show you how to do that here in Ecamm. It really starts at the top here that uh, instead of stream and record, if we untick stream, it doesn't really matter. We can leave virtual cam, just leave that on all the time. But we've got record. And now, as soon as I've taken the stream button off, Notice that it moved down here from the stream to being record. And simple as that, all I've got to do is hit record. Gives me a nice three second countdown and I'm recording away. It gives me a nice uh, red bar up there to tell me that I'm recording. If I want to pause it, I can do. Maybe I've lost something or phone rings and I've got to do that. I can resume and carry on. And then when I finish it, much like live streaming, I've got to hit again to end it and then it will take me straight to my file if I want to. Now, there is a preference I wanted to point out in here under the recording tab. And we're gonna to come to all these bits in separate videos, um, but you can have a record only countdown. So there's a three second delay on there. If you don't want that, if you find that you're kind of wanting to record, boom, there I go. I don't wanna wait for three seconds. I actually find it's really nice just to have that three seconds and know that I could get myself ready and, and then it will start. So yeah, that's it. I've said to you in previous videos about using record only uh, as a way to just test this as well before doing a live. You can just record for a couple of seconds. You could quickly whiz through your scenes and make sure that the volumes are all okay and then play that back to yourself before you actually do your broadcast. Maybe you're doing on an interview. You're not actually doing it live. You just wanna record or do an interview for somebody, save it and then send the file to them or get someone to edit it. They're all different scenarios where you might wanna use record only. Basically anything that isn't actually going out live, but you're using all the awesome tools and features in here for just simply recording.